Hello, my name is Mohammed, and today I'm going to solve these three questions as you can see on the board. So these are relate to angles in parallel lines. So how we can work out the angles in parallel lines. So there are three types of angles in parallel lines. So before I'm going to start to solve these questions, if you haven't subscribed my channel, so please subscribe it now. So back to the topic now. So the first type is called uh, corresponding corresponding angles are equal. So as you know, there are parallel lines, okay, and this one and this one. So so it means this angle and this angles. So these are called corresponding angles and they must be equal each other. So if I say this is for example 75 degrees, so this one is also 75 degree. And the second types of angle in parallel lines which is called alternate angles. Okay, so this is this is the parallel lines, okay, and the alternate angles, this one, this angle and this angle, so, okay, so they are making a shape of Z, okay, so if I say that, what, this is 70 degree, so this one is also 70 degree. And the third one, okay, angles and parallel lines is called, uh, this is yeah and this is basically a light okay so if i say this is 120 degree so this must be 60 degree so a light angle a light angles equal to 180 degree so this angle, let me do it, okay? So this is making a shape for, look at this one. This shape is, okay? So they are making a shape of like C, okay? So it means the allied angle make it 180 degree. So this one is 60, so this one must be 120 degree. But the alternate angle they are making a shape is like, Look at this one. They are making a shape of Z. Okay. So look at this one. This is called alternate angles. So alternate angles also they are equal each other or the same size. Alternate angles. So this is making a shape for Z. Okay. And the corresponding angles are also equal and they are making a shape of like this one I can say the shape of F. This is the shape of F. Okay. So if the shape of F is corresponding angle, the shape of Z is the alternate angle and the shape of C is a light angle. So these are three types of angles in parallel lines. And now I'm going to solve these three questions. These are very important questions for the exam point of view. So question number one. Look at the question number one carefully, okay? And question number one say that uh, there are two square. Two squares joining with a triangle. So two squares joining triangle and find the value of X. So we need to find angle X, which we don't know. So look at this one. So this is a one is square this one this is a square and this one is also second square 
they are joining like that okay and these two squares joining with a triangle and now we need to find out the angle x so angle x how we can work out first we need to understand the property of a square so a square has four corners four equal sides and it has a straight it has an angle which is called 90 degree angle so so there are four 90 degree angle for each square because there are four corner so it means we know that okay so this one 90 degree this one 90 degree this one 90 degree and this one 90 degree very simple and now as we can see this triangle looks like a isosceles it means these two angles okay are equal so it means if i say look at this shape okay this shape and this shapes are equal so it means this is 90 and 68 so it means this one is also 68 so now we can work out the triangle has 180 so 180 minus 68 minus 68 which is equal to 44 degree so it means this missing angle will be 44 degree and as we know that the full rotation angle okay so the full rotation angle this angle like this okay which is equal to 360 degree out of 360 degree we know angle this is 90 and this is 90 which make it 180 okay and 180 plus 44 which is making 224 so i can do it 90 90 plus 90 plus 44 which is making 224 so it means the missing angle x will be 136 degree so answer for the first question equal to 136 degree this is answer for the question number one now move for the question number two okay as i discuss about the angles in parallel lines okay uh, look at this parallelogram yeah and this parallelogram okay look at this one this is the parallel lines and this is the parallel lines and this also opposite is a parallel lines okay so we know the angle this is 24 degree and we know the angle this one is 56 degree so the alternate angles making shape of z okay look at this one okay and think about okay so it means look at this one this one is making a shape of z so it means this angle which is 56 so it means this angle also 56 so alternate angles are equal and same as look at this one what this 
this and this so they are making a z now okay look this one this this and this so it means this is 24 degree so look at this one this is 24 so it means the alternate angle this is also 24 degree same as this one this is alternate look at this one and going down and coming back making a shape of z so this is 56 so this must be 56 this one is 24 degrees so this one is also 24 degree now you can solve they are making a triangle so what 24 plus 56 which is 80 degree so 4 plus 6 okay is 10 and this is 80 and the total triangle okay so 180 180 minus 80 which is 100 so it means this angle you know this is 100 and this is opposite so it means this is also 100 and if there is a straight line so the straight line angle which is equal to 180 so it means the a equal to a equal to 80 degree so this is the answer for question number two so the missing angle a how we work out by alternate angle so we found this is 100 and this one going like a straight angle so 100 plus 80 the 80 and 100 plus 80 this one is also 80 so this is the answer for the question number two and now the final question which is question number three very interesting so the question number three look at okay uh, there is a big triangle and they are giving you some piece of information which is very important okay and it says what it says uh, pq pq and rs are horizontal horizontal and st is vertical so we need to work out so find angle x y and z okay but they give you some information so they say pq so the pq look at this one this pq and rs this is rs both are horizontal lines so it means they have a horizontal line like this okay straight horizontal line st is a vertical line so this one so st is a vertical line vertical line is like that straight so on the basis of this information we need to find x y and z so x y and z these are the information we need to find out but look at this one the, the big triangle okay we have we have the information which is 80 degree 35 degree we know the total triangle which is 180 degrees so first we need to find the value of x which is very easy and simple so how we can work out okay so 180 180 minus 80 and minus 35 
So if we take a of 80 which is 100 and 100 take off which is 35 and the answer for this one will be 65. So x we found x equal to 65 degree and now how we can work out y z the small triangle uh, we don't know any value okay but we know that they explain you about what rs and st okay rs is a horizontal line so it means rs is a horizontal line and st is a vertical line this one so it means this angle will be what 90 degree and if i extend what this st line because they mention in the question st is a vertical line so if i'm going down this vertical line further down look at this one if i go further down what's happening this one also making a right angle which is which is 90 degree and this angle this small angle is 35 degree so now you know they also make a small triangle okay and a small triangle we know which is the angle 90 degree and 35 degree so 180 degree i need to find out this angle so 180 minus 90 and minus 35 so which will be 65 degree oh sorry this is 90 so 180 minus uh, oh 35 degree so which is 55 degree so this is not 65 this is 55 degree hundred and eighty because the small triangle okay I can further draw this one okay so look at this one okay if I draw a perpendicular look at this one okay so further this shape is like this one is already given you 35 degree the small triangle and this one is straight 90 angles so 35 plus 90 which is 125 so 125 180 minus 125 which is equal to 55 so this angle 55 degrees so it means this angle the small triangle the missing is 55 degree and this angle 55 is the opposite of z angle which are equal each other so it means it means this z will be 55 degree so very simple if this is 55 degree and this is 90 degree so z will be 35 degree So it means the value of 
value of x is 65 value of missing angle which is 65 degree and value of y which is equal to 35 degree and the missing angle z equal to 55 degree how did we solve the question number three okay we know that rs is a horizontal line st is a vertical line okay i drop further down to the straight line vertical st down to the big triangle to make up another triangle so we found the 90 degree angles plus 35 which is 125 degree and take away the total angle which is 180 to 180 minus 125 to get 55 degrees so this is 55 degree for the smallest triangle which is 55 and missing angles and this 55 angles is opposite of z angle which is equal each other so this is called 55 degree as well if we add 55 degree plus 90 degree okay so you can find easily for the angle y which is 35 degree so that's it for today and if you like this video please leave your comments and also like this video because your like is very important for us so thank you very much bye bye